All rise. You may be seated. Today, case number RAP 2486. We got Smooth the Hustler and Trigger the Gambler. Broken Language. One of the all time hip hop classics. Together, you two brothers, you will be charged together. Since apparently you guys can't make a song without each other, that is not hard as hell. Therefore, both of you guys, right hand on the mic, left hand in the air, it's time to take the oath. Do you swear to spit the lyrics, the whole lyrics, and nothing but the lyrics, and kill this beat with your bars? We'll step into the booth then. You guys are up. Time for your testimony. All right, what up, YouTube? Face Famous back in the house. You Face Famous spawns wherever you at. There you are. Here's the deal. One of the all-time hip-hop classics, Smooth the Hustler, Trigger the Gambler, Broken Language. We're going to try this case accordingly. Get ready. It's time to make sure this thing goes down. I want your full testimony. Don't give me no BS. Y'all better come with that heat because we all about killing bars. Sentencing will be harsh. Due to your public defenders, the people below in the comments, we should know exactly what we think about you. Deliberate, jury, get ready, take notes. Here we go. Raise your eyes on the guy, but have no kind of worries if I die. So pussy clock try. Danger feel stepping my way. Right off the rip, it's danger feel stepping his way. Don't even try it. Nobody has an intro that can sit here and beat this song. Everybody knows this intro to this song, right when he starts, he's about to go ham. Y'all already know, hard as a motherfucker. Bodies get cremated on a Friday to do a die way. The death threader, sender, head spinner, rap beginner, light dimmer, three knockout count winner. Now you gotta remember in this song, they're using agitative verbs connected with nouns. Basically, they're describing their action of the noun of which they are. That's why it's broken language. The sentence isn't complete. It begins in the middle, towards the end. That's why it's broken language. Just think about it. Let's go. There's your English lesson. The body polluter, the gat shooter. What are you polluting your body with, huh? Rhymes, slugs. What? Bullets? He's already saying he's the gas shooter. Ah, and look at Smooth just sitting there chilling. Now also, you guys remember, these two guys are actual brothers. This is Smooth the Hustler. This right here is Trigger the Gambler. Trigger the Gambler actually had an album that was supposed to drop back in the day. What happened was the deal didn't fall through, so the album was completed. It just never got put out, so it got shelved. He got bars. Smooth always had bars. He had to drop off just for the fact the untimely death of his child's mother. So he had to play the dad role. So he kind of went away. Well, a lot of people don't realize that that song that you guys may have heard with Jay-Z and Foxy Brown, that man Smooth the Hustler wrote it. He ain't gone. He do ghostwrite for people. The face basher, the Mr. Brain Smasher, the ass waxer, the drunk money, the money stasher, gun blast and razor slasher. The, you the money stasher, gun blast and razor slasher. Already, I'm stashing money, gun blast, razor slash. You're gonna get shot, you're gonna get cut the fuck up. Basically, straight up. Genjitsu, get him. Human asthma, breathtaker, body dumb waster, the glock cocker, the block locker, the rock chopper, the shot popper, the jock cock blocker. Hey, you guys gotta remember, when these cats rhyme, this is what rhyming is all about. This is MC. When you putting it out there, it's all about the wordplay. It's not about the money. It's not about your cars, your jewels, your house, and all that bullshit. These little young kids rap out. We don't care about that. You got bars of what? Hey, smooth, trigger, you on trial. Evidence B, get it. The face splitter, human disgrace getter, the lady shitter, phone jones, sneak over fucking babysitter. 
Just imagine having to babysit for your kids. You out partying, doing whatever the hell you're doing. This dude, the phone zones, he up there massaging your babysitter's ear, coming over and fuck your damn babysitter in your house, probably in your bed too, while you gone. Dude's ruthless. The chronic smoking, gun toting, hearse initiator, crack supplier, the human drug generator, the honey gamer, the chicken tricker, the slicker, long dick pussy sicker, the ready to bust your ass kicker. He's round for anything. He's ready to bust your ass. Ah. Hey, I'll tell you this. When it comes to bar for bar, Smooth the Hustler can't be touched. This song cannot be touched. It's already been tried out by Cassidy and his crew Larceny. It's already been tried out by Remy Mom Papoose. And what a lot of people don't know, there is a broken language part two. If you a hip hop head, you know this. If you a rap historian and hip hop head, you should know. There is a broken language part two. Trust me, you don't think I'm gonna react to it and extract from it? Trust me, I extract bars. Get him! The track maneuverer, the box barrier, the off the dome rapper, the C74 ox carrier. If you guys don't know what the C74 Ox is, basically think of that movie Above the Rim for those older heads who've seen it. A C74 Ox is basically a box cutter or a razor blade. What you do, you take the razor blade and you stick it in between your cheeks and your gums under your tongue and stuff like that. It's basically a conceal and carry razor blade. You go up, cut your victim's throat, wrist, whatever you're going to do, you're about your way, put the razor blade back in your mouth, you're off and on on. What happened? Oh, shit, I don't know. I was there. The whole time, you talking to a cat with a razor blade in the mouth. That's For me, that's just one of the styles. They use it in the pen, and they also use it in the East Coast a lot, too. West Coast cats do it, too. Hell, anybody really can do it if you just know how to hold the razor blade in the goddamn mouth. C-74 Ox. That's basically what it is. They call the razor blade the Ox. Go. The gun seller, the chest. Whoa, face famous sighting right here. This man... Ladies and gentlemen, if you know your hip hop, that's Big L. Looking lost as a motherfucker, too. Let's go back. The gun seller. Big L, right there. They have the straight up block part. Look at this man right here giving that dap. Let's go back a little bit. His little son, look at him. What up? Expert, the man makes the murder. Hey, I love how he just pushes his brother out the way, just the fuck out the way. Look, hey, y'all know, I'm I'm checking for everything in the video. Always look for things in videos because you never know who you may see, who was in it. Pre-famous, before post-famous. Or just in it, that you knew that was famous. Probably a lot of cats. But I'm going to let you know now, some of y'all East Coast cats, y'all parents is probably in this goddamn video. You never know. Out the way. The whole bitch this are the cut man. I don't want clan. The stun hitter in 34 days and Bam, Carl Kanai outfit. Who remembers Carl Kanai? I had a Carl Kanai outfit. Oh, I was 16, so that was back in 1992. I had a Carl Kanai outfit. Actually, it was orange, black, red, white, striped. Shorts and pants, matter of fact. And the hoodie I had to match with it. Oh, that thing cost me at the time around $65. Carl Kanai was the shit back there, black owned company. Carl Kanai did the damn thing. He was before FUBU. So, before there was FUBU, there was Carl Kanai. Just to let you know, Carl Kanai was the shit back then. Competing along with Tommy Hilfiger and everything else that was coming out. Go. The Munt Man, the Front Man, the Brooklyn Representer, the B Down Center. That dude right there, I think that might be a face famous sighting. This cat right here kind of look like Kid Capri. If anybody could confirm that, let me know in the comments below. That's a possible face famous sighting right there. That dude look like Kid Capri. Because they kind of focus in on him real well. Either way, go, that's a block party. You rapping like that and you got bars and skills, 80s, 90s, there was block parties. Everybody just had a damn good ass time. They represented their rappers all day long. Presenter, the beat down center, the two brothers, the hottest niggas out this fucking way. The girl cheaters, the be fast beater, the street sweet keeper, the body, the concrete meter, the blood skeeter. The body, the concrete meter, the blood skeeter. Go against this cat if you want to, get knocked the hell out. Then your blood skeeting out. The body, the concrete meter, the blood skeeter. He's gonna make sure your body gonna meet that concrete. Your blood is gonna be skeeting out. It's rap. I'm knocking fools out left and right. These cats right here, 
I wonder how many of these people still on probation or actually turn out to be some of your favorite rappers. You never know who these people are in this crowd. That's what I'm saying. These could have been some of your favorite MCs right off the bat before, or it could be, hey, they just extras. They and they're kicking it. Family, friends, whatever. This is what it's all about. This is hip hop. These dudes are hip hop. Classic. Let's go. The weed smoker, the liver choker, the spot stock broker, the rugged picture poser, the cards grab. That rugged picture pose right there. The rugged picture poser, the stock spot broker. The spot stock broker, the rugged picture poser, the card scrambler, Roy, you flush, same suit, poke the gambler, next the amateur, damage a snap master without the camera. camera. The big uh, look how he just mushed him out the way. Just get the fuck out the way. It's my turn to rap. Cuz let's go. Hey, little bro ain't playing. Trigger ain't no joke. Smooth ain't no joke. Amateur snap master without the camera. Camera, the big guzzler, the slug to your mug tussler, the drug juggler, the crazy thug hustler. The I mean, you guys could juggle drugs like that, huh? The slug to your mug tussler. I'm putting bullets to your jaw. That's what he's saying. Bullets going to your jaw. The slug to your mug tussler. Crazy, dr crazy drug hustler. He ain't playing. I'm flipping bricks. I put a slug in your jaw too while I'm at. Keep talking. Y'all get knocked the hell off. Go. The Lexus one, the chain ring and bracelet floor. Oh, everybody know your 1980s and 90s hip hop kit. You gotta have the fat gold necklace. You gotta have the big ring. You gotta have the big watch to match. You also know you gotta have the medallion. That was basically a status symbol back in the day that you got the money. You know you had the biggest gold medallion back then. It wasn't about platinum. Platinum didn't hit till the 2000s. Trust me, when I get into that music, you gonna see. It's gonna go from gold to freaking platinum. People try to front with their little silver. Hey, everybody know white gold came up too. And red gold. But right back then, it was all about the gold gold. The original. Texas Warner, the chain ring and bracelet flaunter, bro. the chamber smoker, the mansion having sauna soaker, the corner stander, the style crammer. The I'm a cramming style too. The corner stander, the style crammer. Take over spot block commander, the Glock on cock handler. Take over spot block commander, the Glock on pop handler. I'm going to take over your spot, then I'm going to command it. Then the Glock is going to go pop. Just listen to the words. The words that he's talking about. Everything is a broken language. This is what I am. This is what I do. This is what I, how I get down. This is how it goes. This is how it went. This is what's going to happen to you. Get him. The razor spitter, the fast old cast blow getter, the transmitter, North Carolina vagina hitter. Yeah, I go to North Carolina. It's really? Why North Carolina? How come not Brooklyn or anything? It may just go with the Ryan scheme of why he said it, the North Carolina vagina hitter. But for some reason, that always stood out in the song. Either way it go, why North Carolina? Why can't it be Georgia, South Carolina, New York, Wisconsin? Hey, whatever. Get it. Hit that vagina, bro. The ass kicker, the internal hawk dog sticker, the red go body hit a hang with digger and the booty lickers. The trigger happy, father gun call a happy, my gun blow out Craig wave patterns to keep your hair nappy. My gun blow out Craig wave patterns to keep your hair nappy. Hey, you got waves in your hair, he let that gun blow out, your waves is gone. You straight looking like buckwheat, your shit just blown back. He gonna split your wig back. Trigger ain't playing, that's why his name's Trigger the Gambler. I'm shooting them triggers. Your ass is done. It's a wrap. There you go, the shout out for MOP. Once again, DR period, I actually produce both groups, work with both groups at the same time. So them two groups saying were together. So he was working on both projects. Actually, they tried to put an album together, you know, but it didn't pan out. So either way it go, it just didn't go down. MOP was still relatively young. I think this came out before Cold as Ice. So try to look it up, let me know. But I think they came out before MOP's Cold as Ice. That's when they really blew up. How about some hardcore fan singer, the jam swinger, the nautical wearer, the car canal man, the Mr. Get Jig, the fly man, notorious ready to die man. Notorious ready to die man, shout out to B.I.G. R.I.P. Either way it go. Car Kanai, Nautica. Nautica was a big hit too back then. You know your clothing lines, Nautica was one of the things you wore. 
basically Nautica was the clothes that you didn't wear if you didn't feel like wearing Tommy Hill. Now, think about it. Nautica, back then. Tommy Hill, back then. Triple Fat Goose, who remember Triple Fat Goose? Back then, North Pole. Back then, mm, all kinds of clothing lines was out. Jeez. The dudes knew. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all that, that was still out there, but Nautica was was the one, trust me. Oh, not to mention the Ed, Eddie Bauer clothing line as well. Go. And the Noah killer, the expert slayer, the white girl game banger, the budget Mary fucker, the Jesus hanger, the vital kicker. Damn, I caught that bar for bar. The Virgin Mary fucker. Virgin Mary, he's basically saying I'm hitting Virgin Mary. She ain't a virgin no more, and I hung Jesus at the same time. You gotta catch that shit. They say a lot in a little in half a sentence. Basically, these are all half sentences they're putting out. The Virgin Mary fucker, the Jesus hanger. Get him. Whoa, objection in my courtroom. That's all I got to say. You can't go too hard on these cats, man. Slow it down. But they cannot. These are killers on the mic. You're on the witness stand. Smooth. Trigger. You got to let us know. The jury must know. You guys is hot? Verdict. After that. Go. The vital kicker. The drug dealer and title stripper. The idol flipper. The cross breaker and Bible ripper. Oh, look at homegirl right here. She knew the words. She must have been there. Let's go. Look at her. Uh. Ain't that sacrilegious, though? The cross breaker and Bible ripper. Did you actually know people ripped out pages of the Bible so they could smoke their joints in, too? Your testimony. Objection? Mm hmm. Overruled. Go. The re the racial thinker, the nine and nine, the five baba, the jaw sinker, the hell fighter, the revelation writer, the Egyptian spirit and writer, the black body bag tire. The black body bag tire. That's where you going. That's your new freaking bed. That's your sleeping bag from now on. You in the black body bag. You never know. You get might thrown over the bridge or some mafia style with freaking cement shoes. Y'all know how that go. New York cats know how that go. You know how many people got thrown over bridges in New York? Probably a whole bunch of people at the bottom of that goddamn river. New York cats are on another level, though. I love hip-hop. You must appreciate this song. You have to. You a true hip-hop head. You know. Go. The money stash up, the nigga trap up, the AKA club five and stay high with a heaven center. The cocaine cooker, the hook up on your hooker hooker, the 35 cent shorts on my two for fives overlook. Anybody know the 35 cent short on my two for five overlooker? Two for fives is basically when you're in a drug game, you go two for fives. You try and take over a spot, try to take over a corner, you sell your drugs two for five. That way, basically, you're getting a deal. He's saying, I'm looking over the 35 cents that you short on my two for fives. So basically you just paid the man, what, 465? So hey, what's 35 cents? Go ahead and give it here, cause I'm still taking over this block. You gotta remember what he said earlier, the spot block commander, the Glock on, the Glock on cock handler. Hey, smooth as that dude. These dudes go back and forth. Before there was the locks, there was what, Jada Kiss and Styles P going back and forth. Before these guys, it was Big Daddy Kane and Little Daddy Shane who went back and forth. M.O.P. does the back and forth. Big Pun and Fat Joe does the back and forth. There's a few other cats who do the back and forth rhyming. But these dudes right here on this beat had it on lock. Go. Finish your testimony. You're going to get your ass whipped like Ike and Tina Turner. That's what he said. The Ike and Tina Turner ass whooping learner. You gonna learn, boy. Anime, anime, anime. You better eat that anime. Remember that? Who remember that out that movie? Go. The Tyler just without the derma. Me and my little brother. The cop me back. Bust me off, nigga, undercover. The Glock to your head pursuer. The Big Daddy Kane, Little Daddy Shane overdo it. 
The shout out to Big Daddy Kane, Lil Daddy Shane overdoer. Some people thought that was a diss to Big Daddy Kane, Lil Daddy Shane when he said the Big Daddy Kane, Lil Daddy Shane overdoer. Yeah, Smooth actually said he ran into Big Daddy Kane and said that, hey, that wasn't a diss. That line was actually shouting y'all out. Big Daddy Kane actually said, man, I ain't even worried about it. I, I knew it was a shout out. Rappers, no rappers. Everybody tried to make something a goddamn diss when they hear something on record. Everything ain't a damn diss. Oh, he said his name. It's not a diss all the goddamn time. All he was doing is shouting the dude out. Big Daddy can't acknowledge that. He said, man, I know. He was like, and I love the song, too. You got to know your rap history, man. Come on, you got to dig this shit up. Hey, the verdict. We pull out the black rose here. This is premeditated murder and straight up killer pants. Premeditated murder. If you guys are not familiar with my sentencing, it's very harsh. I could care less about a beat. You better kill it. Therefore, solitary confinement. This song test stands the test of time. These cats are in solitary confinement. Also, killer pins, general population. Put them with the rest of the rappers. These cats are going to slam. You want to know why? Because they're still around. They still making music. They still ghostwriting for people. So you never know who they've been around. These guys are influencing a lot of people. It's kind of like that whole thing of saying, you know what? I may be gone, but I would never be forgotten because I have influenced a lot of rappers. This song itself has influenced a lot of people who want to rap. The verdict. Premeditated murder and killer pins. Solitary confinement. Plus, when we get done with you going general population and you know, it might murder more and seize. Once again, that was smooth to hustle, trigger the gamma, broken language. This is the king. This face famous. We out!